If you're an investor and you do buy into the idea that 5% or 5.1 is going to be the terminal rate, and more importantly, that they'll probably hang out at that terminal rate for some extended period of time, where's the investment opportunity in that scenario? The investment opportunity, first of all, is, is in a situation that we've moved a long way in rates first and foremost. Mm -hmm. That investment opportunity comes from earning income and yield distributions, dividends, and people are going to really focus investment portfolios on asset classes that produce income at this mm -hmm. point in time. Bonds are one of those asset classes. And more specifically, when you think about where we've come from over this point in time, the concern that you would have with volatility and immunizing portfolios with yeah. broader market volatility really says you want to take less risk. So we're finding good opportunities at the front end of the yield curve across high quality asset classes, including agency mortgages, structured products, things like that, yeah. that really are more insulated to the downside risks we see perhaps in the global market environment. Some of that downside risk is macro in nature. There is still, I guess, the idea of sort of that manufactured downside risk based on what the Fed is doing. There's a lot of focus on rates, not so much necessarily on the balance sheet and the potential that that could become maybe a little bit more critical in 2023? Perhaps. That question mark? Perhaps <laughs> late in 2023. Yeah. Let's yeah. focus on what's an immediate concern. Yeah. Okay. The immediate concern is really the evolution of inflation. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on wage pressures. Let's focus, as you mentioned at the top of the top of the set, that we'll focus on the weekly jobs reports. These mm -hmm. are sort of nuanced data that gives us the health of the job sector, which we clearly are going to be focused on because the Fed is, but at the same time, the transitory nature of someone loses a job and where they're going to find employment on the follow mm -hmm. and see how that becomes elongated. So for investors, this is a discussion of what is the Fed's temperament to support growth in the medium term, not necessarily immediately, once we get to that inflation destination. But does market pricing reflect that? Because even when you look at the appetite we've seen reemerge for fixed income, right. it is decidedly short in duration. It is, and there's a reason. Yeah. Investors want to be shielded in asset classes which have lower volatility. Mm. Cash, near cash, the front end of the yield curve provides all that, and more importantly, gives them the optionality to pivot to other asset classes once we get a clear road ahead or a clear signal from central banks around the world with regard to how they're going to think about the pivot from inflation and what the next step is. But we're not quite there yet. And mm -hmm. so having some oppor opportunis opportunities within the front of the yield curve is a perfectly rational place to be over the course of the next 6 to 12 months, just simply given the high nominal returns and potential, potential real returns uh, yeah. after inflation adjustments.